This is Jordan Tower with JT News. I'm going to just start it off real quick. Make sure you smash that like button. Please smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Okay, so we got the game. He did like a whole documentary, and uh, <laughs> which is funny. He is, because his first album was called The Documentary, but he is like going crazy. Like, he doesn't know when to stop lying, man. And he doesn't have to lie. Like, he's a good rapper. But he just be like lying. And he... And his numbers are strong. He said that his album did 15 million. And this is the whole reason Dr. Dre chose to mess with 50 Cent over him when the, the problems came. Because 50 Cent was doing more numbers. And he made it look like 50 was just doing like 5 more million than him. Now 50 at that time had done 10 million. He got diamond. The game had done a few million. Like 4, 3 or 4 million total he did like probably seven or eight worldwide which is still amazing but he said 15 that's a lot of million that's almost double bro i don't know how many uh i don't know how much 50 cent has done at this moment uh let's see 50 cent sales what was this uh, get rich or die trying right uh get rich or die trying sales let's just see real quick because like as far as i know he did like 12 million or something like that um which is still amazing okay and then he tried to throw in the m&m thing like yeah he's chosen size with m&m and you know the whole uh white privilege thing i was like he's this guy the game man he's he's always capping <laughs> uh it's, it looks like he did let's see doo -doo 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 -doo. this is u.s sales 8.4 million so he didn't even break I don't think he went diamond in the States. He just went diamond worldwide. So, I mean, so the game is off by four or five million. But yeah, okay. But you said 15 million. You exaggerated a lot. I think 50 Cent exaggerates a little bit on the Get Rich or Die Trying sales, just to be fair. Then he also weighed in on uh, Takashi. He said he feels sorry for him because seems like he felt like he had to be a certain way to sell records and everything and uh you know he doesn't come from that life and they kind of amped him up and the same people that are around him aren't there anymore and he's there by himself but he doesn't condone the snitching part but he also says he does feel bad for him i think we all feel a little bit bad for him but that kind of comes with it sometimes you know like you got to be careful like if you're gonna do whatever to get on like hey I want to be rich tomorrow. If I go rob a bank, you're not going to feel sorry for me, right? It's kind of like the same situation. You're involving yourself in things that can get you hemmed up. And that's what happened. So you can't feel totally sorry for him. I mean, I feel like that I don't feel sorry for the other guys because they involved him in it and they knew that he wasn't about that life and he wasn't going to say quiet. But, you know, hey, he got himself in this. He's getting, I don't know. <laughs> just, then we got Rallo. Rallo might have a release date. That's what he says on the gram now. He forgave, forgave Gucci for not like saying free him at all. Uh, now Gucci was just put on the spot by Charlemagne and he gave an answer that was very safe. He said, we had parted ways on music. He gave me the money back. So technically he's saying I didn't invest in him and he didn't use that money that I gave him to do anything illegal. And then he said, uh, so Rollo reacts and says, free the realist Rollo on April 20th, 2021. The streets or the world will never be the same no more when I walk from behind these walls. The world will still be the same and we'll be glad you're home, okay? But it'll be good to, you know, I don't think Rollo deserves to be in jail right now, okay? <laughs> Maybe a slap on the wrist, but the time, the time they're trying to give him is insane. Okay? He deserves a few years, maybe. I mean, maybe. It's weed. You know, there's nothing crazy. You know? He says, they got to feel me. A signed document. Don't make you family. Love comes from the heart. I don't think Gucci Man's family, bro. I'm going to be honest. Kind of shows who he is. You know, if someone snitched on shot Rollo, and that's why he's not out right now. He had a good heart, man. You just, you know, there's no quick way to get there, you know, unfortunately. There's no shortcuts. Anyways, guys, I will check you guys in the morning.
This is George Tad with JT News, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.